of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to some more of the Stanley Parable. Now you guys said that you seem to really like this game, you guys said that it was really cool and you'd like to see more endings, so I thought, let's give it another shot, let's see what else we can do. There is an achievement for clicking on door 430 five times, and 430 is just down here, so let's see if we can do that. All of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, same stuff again. Okay, 4.30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an <laughs> achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Hey, come on! Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay, 20 times, okay. Hmm, yeah. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Come on, dude! Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. 50? Okay, let's just click like a mad bitch. Is that 50 yet? Are we at 50 yet? Are you going to tell me when I'm at 50? No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some <laughs> hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Okay. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? T 417, okay. Where is door 417? This is... I'll find door 417. I'll put 20 into his ass. Okay. 417, where are you? I call you out. So you can't open any of those ones. 417. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437? Is that back this way? No, okay. Okay, okay. Four... Four, three, six. Four, three, seven. There it is. You were Excellent. hiding from me. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it ten clicks or so. 415. I got it. Okay, this is really odd. I better get something more than an achievement for this. 415. Here we go. Now, back to door number 437. Oh my god, this game is... <laughs> Come on, dude! <laughs> he didn't tell me how many times to click on it, though. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Where's the copy machine? Oh, here it is. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, dude! 417, okay. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. I can't- how do I- I can't climb, I can't jump! 419, okay, that's not back here. I can't jump! How am I supposed to get on top of 419's desk? Oh, I think I- I, I can't. Oh, I yes, can! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Door 416. Got it. I really do feel like I'm getting an achievement. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! My god, he's so enthusiastic! I'm with you, dude! I'm with you! Copy machine, copy machine. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Yeah! Oh, wow. Yeah! That's amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? <laughs> This game is freaking genius. It's it's this should be called breaking the fourth wall of the game. Cuz in normal games when you're playing, you are just told go here, click this, do this, and you feel like you're making progress, but you're not really. 
Like, you're only doing what the game tells you to do, and that's what this game kind of says. It's like, you know what, follow my instructions, or don't. If you don't, these are the consequences of what happens. This is how the game is going to react if you do that. So that's really cool. Like, all games you feel like you're in control, but really, you're not. You're not in control. Like, the last one, when I finished the first part, I had finished the game. The door came down. It was like, Stanley had said that he would never let someone tell him what to do again. And then the next sentence was, sentence was and Stanley walked outside. So you were still following orders, and it said, and Stanley felt happy. So you were only doing what the game told you to do. You were only feeling how the game told you to feel. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm going left, and I think th there was, you could go upstairs or downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs this time. Later on, there's a downstairs section later on. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yeah, yeah, I've been Feeling here. A wave Did this of disbelief? Stanley decided closet. to go up to his boss's office, no. hoping he might find yeah, here, an downstairs. there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, he didn't. Stanley went downstairs and said, "Fuck the police." Oh, red. Is red signaling danger? Danger, 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 danger. I got an achievement as well for turning on achievements. There's an option in the options menu saying achievements on or off. I turned that on and I got an achievement for achievements on. <laughs> like what the hell? But oh, Stanley care. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. He would. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <laughs> and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa! Then he Whoa. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was so he remaining cool. so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything <laughs> that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. 
the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay, that was a very long monologue. Holy shit. That was so Stanley cool. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Okay. What? <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. This is messed up. This is so weird. <laughs> And we're back in the office, as always. Somebody told me to unplug the phone. How do I do that? Just click on it? How do I unplug the phone? Oh, I can crouch. Is this where the phone cable goes? What? How do I... I'm clicking on everything. Nothing's working. I... Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Was that one of the endings? One of the endings was just sitting in this room and doing nothing. Okay, onward. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. What? Okay, let's try and find a different ending. This game is so cool! Computers all off. Awaiting oh, input. It said that last time, and I gave it input, but I don't know what that does. Up on the desk. Woo! Okay, there's some weird achievements in this. One of the achievements is don't play the Stanley Parable for five years. Five years! 
I'm assuming you can just trick your computer like you used to be able to do for Metal Gear Solid 3 and make it think like it's five years in the future when it's really not. Okay, we'll choose when door Stanley on the right. To a set of Shut up, voice, I'm not listening. Not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he We've heard to all this. By the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, yeah, employee lounge. Uh, Absolutely yes, beautiful. Truly a room worth beautiful, admiring. I'm leaving, but I'm gone. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh yeah, I went that way last time, didn't I? I'll go on the left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Ah! Uh, too many options! Okay, I'll just go here. Is this bringing me to a bad place? I hope not. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here it's, um, left. Left. Thank you. What happens if I try and go these doors? Nothing, that's what. So left it is. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. <laughs> No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. We went down <laughs> right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. This is weird. Thank you, voice. Thank you. This is so much like Portal. Oh, I'm back down to the room full of screens. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. What? <laughs> ah, screw you, game! Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this video here so that there's actually more stuff to do for the next time, but this game is so good. This game is genius. It's like... Hey, look at all the trends that have gone through games before. Look at all the times they've telling you to go, th go this way and go that way. And it's like, this is like the game talking back to you. It's like when you divert off course, the game kind of gets confused and it doesn't know what's going on. And then it's like, fuck, what do I do now? And then it makes up a path for you to go. And then it messed it up. So it was like, you know what? You're not supposed to be here. I'm going to kill you and restart from the last checkpoint. Like, oh, it's genius. It's so well thought out. And I can't even begin to imagine how they sat down to make this game. Like, they sat down and wrote it all out and just tried, tried to plan all this. And Like, there's not many environments to it. There's not much to it at all. Each playthrough averages, like, 10 to 15 minutes. And I've done three in the space of 18 minutes now. And that's... It's just incredible to think about it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of the Stanley Parable, please let me know. Because I would love to do more of it. I'd love to show you guys more of the endings to it. And I know a lot of you are waiting to play it on your own. And you don't want spoilers so you're not watching this. But just please give me some feedback on it anyway. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss. And high fives all around. But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes in the next video! Oh yes, I'm kicking some ass. Who's me time? Come on. Way Shen, more like Jackie Chan. Yeah, back in time you go. Come on, fifth cup. I challenge you to fifty cups. Pistols of dawn. Pistols I mean my feet and my fists.